Watching New York play the Cleveland Guardians in the MLB playoffs on Monday night at Yankee Stadium was Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. NFL player Kelsey, along with his A-list girlfriend, braved a cold Bronx night to watch the Yankees take on his beloved Guardians in an attempt to advance to the World Series. Down the right field line in a suite sat the pair together. Swift dressed in a dark jacket and baseball cap in an attempt to blend in, and Kelsey went the same route. In the second row of their suite, the pair could be seen having a few beers and laughing with other guests while watching the game. Swift's amusing response to Juan Soto's Yankees home run that gave the home team the lead was captured on camera. She remained speechless for a moment before beaming at her partner in disbelief. It happens as Jason, Kelsey's brother, was working for ESPN for the NFL's Monday night football match between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets, which was taking place in New Jersey, right over the Hudson River. The pair watched the men's U.S. Open final on September 8th with friends Patrick and Brittany Mahomes, making it their second athletic event in as many weeks in the Big Apple. Aaron Boone, the manager of the Yankees, hinted earlier on Monday that two really special guests will be present at the ALCS opener. The pop sensation and the three-time Super Bowl winner traded the football field for the diamond on Monday night, but she is usually seen in the seats at her Bose NFL games. During his teams by week, the Kansas City Chiefs player has been spending quality time with the singer. The defending champions won't play again until Sunday in a Super Bowl rematch against the San Francisco 49ers. Before Kelsey's girlfriend embarks on her era's tour again on Friday, he has made sure to savor every second he has with her. The famous couple had a wonderful weekend in New York, going on double dates with the singer's best friend Blake Lively and her husband Ryan Reynolds. On Friday night, the A-list quartet was spotted making their way to the popular restaurant The Corner Store in New York City's Soho District. While some fans mocked the four celebrities for their attire, Kelsey took the brunt of the criticism for his floppy hair and handlebar mustache. After that, People mercilessly ridiculed Kelsey on social media, drawing comparisons between his appearance and Ron Burgundy from Anchorman. Some people thought he resembled Talladega Knight's Ricky Bobby, another Will Ferrell character. Some even stated his mustache reminded them of adult film stars from the 1970s and 1980s. On a Saturday date night of their own, Kelsey and Swift spent some time alone after the group's night out. The Fortnite singer was seen entering the Teresi restaurant in New York City with the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs while holding hands. Their run of romantic evenings in New York City also coincides with two weeks having passed since they were said to have broken up, according to a leaked contract, a few weeks prior. Although Kelsey's camp quickly labeled the contract entirely false and fabricated, it is widely thought to be a fake. Nevertheless, the camp said the two were scheduled to announce their breakup on September 28th. The purported contract's dissolution date has now gone without any hoopla or announcement of a split. Swift has since been cited at a few of Kelsey's games, demonstrating that their romance is still going strong in spite of the rumors of their divorce. The pair also made a very public display of affection at last month's U.S. Open men's final in Flushing Meadows. Swift and Kelsey were unable to separate themselves and the pop sensation even serenaded her partner with a cover of darkness. I believe in a thing called love. However, it appears that Swift and Kelsey are moving from Queens to the Bronx tonight in an attempt to take advantage of more of what New York has to offer in terms of sports. The Yankees made it to the American League Championship Series for the second time in three seasons and the fourth time since 2017 after missing the postseason the previous year. They will now start their journey to the World Series at Yankee Stadium, home of Kelsey and Swift, in an attempt to make it there for the first time since 2009. An all-New York World Series may be in the works if Boone's club can defeat the Guardians, who defeated Detroit in an exciting ALDS to start the series. In the NLCS, the New York Mets take on the Los Angeles Dodgers and sensation Shohei Otani in an attempt to snap their own nine-year World Series drought. After losing game one of their series to the Dodgers 9-0, the Mets trail the series 6-0, but earlier on Monday afternoon, they found themselves ahead 6-0 in game two.